What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a dress. Now as you can see I have a template here. This is meant to be one of my original characters and I drew her at this pose so I can show you guys how to draw a dress. Now with that being said, let's get started. Now first we're going to start off with the upper body and there's not much to do here because I already drew in the face and I drew in a special hairstyle on my character so not much to do with the face but if you do want to learn how to draw the face I got several videos on how to draw the face at different points of view so a playlist full of those videos will pop up right here in the card and there will be links to those in the description but I have my face drawn we're not going to focus too much on that so now let's transition lower and draw the upper body so we have the torso and the arms the dress that I want to draw doesn't have any sleeves, so we don't have to do anything with the arms really. But let's come up here to the breasts, and I'm just going to draw in some cups on the breasts. Like a couple curves right here. And then, my, and then another curve is going to go around this other breast. Okay, and then once I get to that breast, I'm going to make a curve, like a letter U curve. And it's going to go underneath the arm, like this. Because it's going to go underneath the armpit, like that. Okay, and then you can choose to make this a U curve, like I did. Or make it a straight line, that's up to you. But I'm going to make it a U curve, like that. And it helps reiterate what I just said about the dress that I want to draw. is not going to have any sleeves. And then I'm just going to draw in the contours of the dress using the guidelines from this template. So we got the upper body, we got all those curves drawn, and like a little midsection there, like that. And then a little accessory that I like to add on dresses is to add like a little bow around the waist. So right here is the waist. I pretty much drew that in already. Like a little ribbon around the waist and then a big giant bow on it. And then I'm just going to add a little curve like this to make a bow. And make another one on the other side. Then make the knot right here in the middle. Make that big. And then a couple of excess string. I like to have that hanging off of the knot. And then the rest of the ribbon wraps around the waist. Not like a belt, but just as a little accessory. But yeah, that's the upper body. So let's go lower and draw the lower body. So the dress that I'm drawing is going to show a small amount of the feet. And it's going to look somewhat like a ball gown. Not so much as a prom dress, but like a ball gown. So what I am going to do is come off of the waist. I'm going to make sort of like a cup shape. So it's going to start off like that, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's going to look something like that. And then I'm going to turn my page, zoom out real quick. And then we're going to connect those with the curve, because like I said, it's going to look like a, a cup, specifically a suction cup. like that and then when I turn it back to the original let me zoom back out so I can show you guys the entire body might not be able to see much because we still see the legs and once I color this thing we're not gonna see the legs at all so once I color it we'll really see a difference but that's pretty much what we got so far so let me go back to that section real quick I'm just gonna add a couple wrinkles to the dress so I'm just gonna have a couple of lines on this little cup shape matching the contours of the dress as some sort of wrinkles in a way. So this line that I'm drawing right now is not going to have much of a curve because it's close to the middle. See and then over here 
and then this can be the last line that I draw. And then we can have a couple lines coming off of the waist too, doing the same thing. But they're not gonna be so long as to be all the way down past the knee. It's just gonna come off of the waist and kind of stop. Because they're gonna be somewhat short. Like that. And then all the way at the bottom of the dress, I can add a couple of curves right here to add some sort of wrinkles. We'll add some more wrinkles close to the bottom. Add a couple curves at the bottom. Like that. As if this part of the dress is kind of overlapping the layer that's underneath in a way. Hopefully that makes sense, but I'm doing something like this. So this wrinkle on the dress is going to be over top of this one, is what I'm trying to say. So let's do the same thing on the other side. But when we're drawing this part of the dress, we don't have to ultimately make it symmetrical. Because with this part of the dress, you can do pretty much anything you want. And that goes with accessories too. Like you can add like a, a lace pattern down here. Or when you go to color it, you can add a floral pattern or a dotted pattern or some glitter even, but you know, that's up to you. But as you can see, I did end up going further beyond the feet. Like a small part of it is still being shown, just like a very tiny bit. But you can still draw that in if you want. Or you can have the entire dress covering the entire feet, that's up to you. Because there are some dresses that do that, they kind of drag on the floor like wedding dresses do. but. You know, the choice is yours when it comes to drawing dresses, in my opinion, because dresses come in all different shapes and sizes. Like, there are some dresses that go all the way up here, right above the knee. Some go past the knee, some go all the way to the ankles. But, you know, like I said, the choice is yours when it comes to drawing dresses, especially when it comes to the length at which it stops. And now let me zoom back out. I'll show you guys what we got again. And there we go. Again, we're not going to see much of a difference because we still see the legs. But once I color this thing and the legs aren't shown, we get to see a big, big difference. But before we get to coloring it, let's add a few more details to the dress because I want my character to look somewhat like a princess in a way, but I don't have to strive to go all the way there. But before we get to that, let's add a few other accessories. Like this can pose as a prom dress. So what I can do is add a little corsage on the wrist. I'm just drawing any flower over here. I mean, it would make sense to put it on this wrist because that's the one being held out. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. She could be wearing two corsages, but yeah. But the way I drew this character earlier, this hand overlaps the dress. So that's why I drew over top of it earlier so I can show you guys what exactly I'm doing. And then since I do have this wrist kind of out, I can add like a pearl bracelet over here, a series of circles. And there we go. And now with nothing else to add, that's all that I have. So what I am gonna do is take my Pentel sign pen, give this character some inks, add some color to the dress, and then come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. So let's go. All right, and there you go, that's how you draw a dress. And like I said from before, it makes a huge difference now that the legs are not shown. But be honest, if this character existed in real life, would you take her to prom? Would you take her on a date? Would you take her anywhere? Let me know down in the comments. And speaking of comments, if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like Pat Kate.